that event we got coming up end of September, Sep uh, September as he said it, end of September, beginning of October. You got the $1,000 pop bonus for Strive. You got Smash, Alt, Melee, 64. You got DBFZ, Tekken. You got everything, man. I mean, it's in San Antonio, too. So if you're in Texas, it's easy to get there. You know what I mean? Not too bad of a drive. It's going to have a lot of nice stuff. So I'm looking forward to it. But really, I'm looking forward to this match right yeah, now. Yeah, right into it here. Let's see what we end up getting. We got BSG versus Finboy. Both of them, I, uh, when I was talking with Finboy, they mentioned that um, Trojan and, I'm sorry, when I was talking to BSG on comms, mentioned that Finboy and Trojan have a very different play style. Finboy, very patient, playing a lot of zoners, yeah. right? Uh, Hyder and Matimkin and King on the anchor. But BSG is very good at brushing people down. Got that Gato Kyo Cronin. Cronin's very strong in this patch. Absolutely. And uh, Blue Sky guy's not even running. Um, some, he has some others that uh, to rush down as well, but. Just, he knows what to do with that. Exactly. Right now, so far, Finboy doing a good job of getting those conversions, those flash kicks, kind of keeping him out. Doing a good job of getting those in. Again, drops that conversion. A little bit too many of the jabs there. Good patience. We got those flash kicks, sonic booms, everything coming out. Yeah, just walling them out. Can't really seem to get it there. Gets, gets the hit. Getting it in. Now, oh. Comes out, I think, a little too far. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't able, isn't able to quite finish up that conversion, but does get the cross up. Uh, Femboy taking the first on this one. BSG's looked pretty untouchable throughout the bracket Abs so far. Absolutely. Now, I think if anyone can touch him, it would be F Femboy for sure. Um, and as we're seeing here, and just keeping them away. So not really touching them, but just poking them away and exactly. keeping them away. Exactly. Trying to keep them jab out, force them away. Uh, one thing I think we've seen so far with BSG, I mean, BSG put in that $50 pop bonus last um, no blocking. Yes. BSG's confident in their game plan, <laughs> but I think since we've seen more people start entering it, especially now that it's starting at 7, yep. you're seeing a lot more people entering it, and you're seeing a lot more of this fierce competition for people like Femboy and Trojan. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, giving a good opportunity for some people who are just here for Strive or even DBFC and being like, hey, this game is pretty neat. Uh, I think you and I included just yeah. started um, competing in it. Don't really know too, too much about it, but learning as we go, and it's a good time. Exactly, yeah. right? Plus, it's five bucks. You can always enter it. Right now, BSG trying to find a way oh. in, but Finboy, great job keeping it. This is great zoning Absolutely. right here. Absolutely. Masterclass, I know you play in Ash yourself. What can you tell me a little bit uh, about the place? Geez, I, I, I don't have anything None compared the to these two. Oh, yeah. But if anybody can get in, Cronin's going to be a good example. Cronin has a ton of damage on their supers, enabled the near zero of death. BSG's got a bit of a rough situation. He doesn't want to use any of that meter. You know, wants to not lose much health, but against his owner, it's really difficult. Absolutely. I think he just needs to use any anything he can to get rid of this character that's going to as much trouble as it is right now. But Didn't even looking for one more good there. hit. Yeah. But these flash kicks are doing so much for Femboy. Finally gets the character, yeah. Going into the second one, we got this Cronin. What do you think Femboy's got to do to adjust? Figure, so what, what do you think BSG's got to do to adjust to this game plan? I think he's just slow down just a little bit and look, look for the gaps. Yeah. Oh, Easier yeah. said than done, but... Um, That's the best chance you got right now. No. I mean... Unfortunately... Unfortunately, though, like, he has the health lead and the, the life, like, Emily can just play as slow as he wants. But we're seeing here that... Cronin damage is Cronin yeah. damage. This is the reason why he's one of the best characters right now. I think that was maybe three total meters and was able to do 75% of his life, but that's going to take it out. Great go. super cancel. Femboy looking real good in this game. Absolutely. Uh, I would not call uh, Blue Sky Guy out, though. Um... I'd be curious if he swaps up any characters. I know he plays a good variety of them. Yeah, oh um, yeah. But I'm sure he went into this matchup sort of knowing what Femboy was going to play. Nope, we're going to turn it back. Yeah. With that Gato, Kyo, Cronin, both of them, all three of these characters are really strong. Gato really good right now. Able to start it off and get some of these high lows. What BSG's been really good about is these high low mixes, mm -hmm. sometimes empty jumps. Able to make something happen, trying to look for a way in. Get these big hits, finally gets a throw. Able to convert off of it, not really. Yeah, we're seeing here when uh, BSG had that corner, had the pressure, it was very much in their favor. But now, Femoy is uh, away <laughs> on exactly. the side of the screen, and now they and they, they want to be exactly where they are. Exactly, it's a hard situation to be. I mean, right now, Femoy's got a huge oh, great DB. Able to force it out, both of them living on a prayer. 
It seems like you're exactly right. PSG did adjust to the game plan and did a great yep. job on that. Uh, she's finding more of those gaps now. And you can see him kind of nodding and going with the vibe a little bit more now. More calm, collected, feeling it. Finboy's got a pretty big mountain to climb here. Ah. For sure, but one nice, a uh, couple two clean hits, and uh, I think Finboy will get uh, good damage off. Exactly. Ooh, that's a big counter hit. Lows. Gonna have to find a way and tries for the ESCP, but he's unable to get the punish quick enough. Looking for something. Oh, that's a great CD. Knock it all the way to the end of the corner. Now Finboy's gonna go in, turn up the pressure, and kind of try and flip the script on this a little bit. Ooh. There's that nice ESCP, yeah. Oh, these overheads. Lots of pillow throws, getting a lot of damage here. Rolls away. Again, they're both looking for something to happen here. Not able to quite make it work. I mean, both of them are playing super patient. Fimboy's going to win on time. He has no need to yeah, approach. Absolutely not. And there we go. Calls up the jump. Exactly. Gets that jump. Uh, uh, like you said, calls out the jump perfectly. Throws that fireball up. And BSG just hops into it because he had to make a move. He had to do something. Absolutely. Right now, though, BSG is looking ahead on time. So if he can play patient, solid. It's going to work out really solid. It's fair, except for, I think, in the, in the patient game on the... Uh, with life this close now. Yeah, it doesn't work as much, yeah. right? Especially not against a zoner like Matsin, can, who can just throw those pillows all day and chip you slowly, slowly, but steadily. Sets up the pillow. Not able to get anything off of it. Ooh, this is going to be a big hit. This could be a ton of damage for Kyo. Doesn't want to super cancel. Makes sense. Doesn't want to burn too much of the meter and save it for King instead. Oh, another big hit. Curious who burns it all here. Nope. Um, again, just being patient. He's got max meter, so he's not like he's gaining much, but that EX punch is going to take care of it. Going to the last character, BSG looking a lot better. Oh, absolutely. But Femboy not out yet. When King going to look for their conversions. Lots of hits, good block string there, able to punish it. EX fireballs, King's going to be looking for those slide kicks if he can get anything off it. Now, this should be a lot of damage, but BSG just isn't burning any of the super. I'm starting to think maybe these are missed input slips up. Perhaps, but I, th I have confidence in Blue. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, yeah, don't get it wrong, but maybe able to make something Ooh. good. Yes. Nice reaction. I think it was a super, actually. It's burning a meter, but hey, yeah. taking the character's worth it. All right, you get that health back. Right. Krona with five Basically bars, even though. now. Krona with five bars looking rough. What do you I mean? What do you think BSG is going to have to do here to keep this lead going, keep this match going in their favor? The thing is, if they get one like clean hit off like a reverser or something with... Yeah, here we go. About to see a lot of meters burnt. Doesn't oh. burn the last one, I think, because it hit him a little bit too up so that he couldn't get the real right. good rocket off of that. Cronin's going to look for their big overheads, try and do something. But right now, just playing patient. Letting Femboy approach him. Yeah, it gives us a slide. Ooh, that's a lot of chip, but that's no damage. Still three bars for... Ooh. Pops it there. Fireball, fireball. Not able to make anything work. He's trying to go in. There's that overhead, and there we go. That will get the kill. 1-1. One, one. Like you said, don't count BSG Oh, absolutely, right? yeah. I really think this is anyone's game. Both of them going back and forth from these pretty close game, um, going down to last character. Exactly, right? And now we're going into this last game. I mean, Fimbo was looking really solid. That high turn was really keeping out. Got, er, that high turn was really keeping out BSG earlier. But it seems like BSG did exactly what you said. Find those gaps and find those ways in. <laughs> Wake up, those. <laughs> Love to see him. Yeah. Nice. Nice little conversion, get that wall, runs back in, trying to force something happen. Good blocks on Fimboy. But BSG doing a better job of getting in than game one. Oh, nice. Big EX is going to eat a lot of damage. And right now we're back to it. Both of them playing pretty good neutral, very patient around each other in that run-up throw. Got the corner now. This is good space, couldn't wake up with the throw on the half of Fimboy. Again, more Sonic Booms, more Sonic Booms. We're seeing it all over. Oh, that's a big hit. BSG in a good place. About half of his health remaining. Absolutely. If he can burn as much uh, of life with, with his Gato, um, then he's going to be in a really good spot. Yeah. Currently, the meter game is on the side of Femboy, not having used much meter in this matchup so far. But, again, 
you don't want to use so much meter if you're BSG anyways. You just want to get extra damage while you can. But hey, if you have to burn meter for it, it's going to be really helpful. Mm -hmm. I know Matsinkin's in a really good situation to cash out and just throw these pillows force you to make a decision, right? Exactly. The big reversal. Going for something. Ooh, there's that Lariat. Now he's going to go back to throwing the pillows. Ooh, this Ooh. is the DP. Gets Lariated afterwards. Right now, pretty even matchup. Nope. Going into second character. Finboy's a little bit down on health, but it's got a little bit more meter. I think that's a fair trade, right? Right now we got that Kyo versus Matinkin. Matinkin's gonna do a good job trying to box out Kyo, but Kyo's got a lot of pressure on the face. Ooh, great block. This should be a huge conversion. Drops it. Unfortunate. EXDP into the Lariat. And we'll get out of the corner and uh, start applying the pressure that they want to be applying right now. Oh, there's that CD. Now I'm gonna throw the pillow, set up the Oki, goes for the overhead. Double overhead, nothing able to happen. Oh, another CD. Those big corner knockbacks. Kyo, uh, being in the corner against the zoner is just so devastating. You don't know what you can do. Fire throws the pillow, EX. Looking for something, Kyo's jumping in and doing a great job of boxing him out. Big hits, big hits. Burns the super. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the EX Lariat. That was exactly when to punish. All right, there we go. Now you're going to get the big super, right? BSG's looking to maintain that character advantage, but that EX Lariat into, or the EXDP into the EX Lariat, that's going to take the character. Not much of a leap. No. But a leap. Absolutely. And I can, that's major right now. Any little, yeah, any little hit you can get. I mean, you got three bars of meter with Matinkin. Any little thing you can get to kind of help you, you help yourself out is good. You're, you're basically getting free real estate on this one. Once you get past about three of the little ticks, you're going to be in a good position to just blow someone up. BSG doesn't want to use meter of his own. Try and save it for that king. EX Lariat. Nice. Closes out without losing too much health, but you did lose a bit of health. That's yeah. never where you want to be. But, Krona with meter. Absolutely. <laughs> Chrono with that meter is going to be able to do a ton of damage. Once he gets to around three is really where he gets backbreaking, and he's almost there. Ooh, there's the overhead. Doesn't cancel into the super. Wants to save up a little bit. All right. Ooh, high low mixes. Get a counter out of it. Finboy looking to make something happen on their life. And uh, this would be dead. BSG going up 2-1. Finboy looked untouchable game one. He did. Finboy looks super strong game one. And able to make it happen. I believe this is best of five because Correct. we're in winners, right? Yeah, winners, losers, Correct. and grands are best of five. Finboy looks untouchable game one. BSG's done a great job of adapting so far. What's Finboy going to have to do to put this back into their court? I really think that they have the right game plan. It's just, it really, you can see these are pretty close, and it's just make sure you keep the, that wall in, um, understanding when they want to pressure and when they want to come in. Exactly. But, it seems like so far, like since game one, they've been doing a lot more about playing on BSG's level, more aggressive approaching, sure. which might not be the way, right? You might want to slow it down a little bit, especially with those owners. Great roll through grab. Big flash kick. Jab, jab, goes for the big hits. Triple jab, isn't able to connect it to anything. Big roll in. I know we're seeing oh, good. <laughs> good flash kicks again. We're seeing a lot of super patient neutral be played here. Great rolls by Finboy Fighting Games. Not trying to get any more hits than necessary. Ooh, that's going to be a punish. Not much of one, but a little bit of hits still help. Oh, there's the command grab. Heals up a little bit. Regular grab on the half of Blue Sky Guy. Oh, this Ooh. is a big camp. Yeah, exactly. The character. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. Get that life, and once you get that character down, that's worth it. I mean, you burn that bar, hey, that gives you a sh that gives you a chance for extra credit on the next character, right? You don't have much life to play with, but again, any damage is good damage. Exactly. All right, set up the pillow, Oki. Nothing really happening right now. Both these players playing pretty patient around each other. This is an example of good footsies in KO. Both of them using their hops, their little movement options for the best of their benefit. You can see all the little hops back and forward. And the jumping heavy punch will take it on that one. But both of them are doing a great job of using their movement to their benefit, moving around carefully. Um, especially Femboy's got to, you know, keep this zone, keep this pressure going, especially against characters like Kyo, which can do a ton of damage off of any sort of confirm. Exactly. Playing this quite well. Now to push him back whenever he jumps in. Throwing up the pillows. It's the CD a second ago. Gets a knockback, but... For now, they're playing super close and patient. Big hit there. 
Super close kills, getting those block strings on, trying to open them up, but nothing able to happen. Again, similar block strings are seeing, but Femboy's just kind of dialed in right now. <laughs> this is exactly what you wanted to do, slow down the game a little bit more, get to that Kyo. Kyo seems to be struggling a little bit here. Yeah, no need to go for any, like, large damage combos or anything. Mm -hmm. Just keep poking away, and it's, and it's working, yeah, as we can see here. Oh. Ooh, goes for the Shatter Strike, I think, there. And exactly as you said, does a great job. You don't need to spin too much meat. You don't need to do anything crazy because you're winning on the chip. You're just getting these straight hits, continuously blading them out. And then, you know, worst case scenario, you play for time for ADXE. Good boy looking much better. Very on this good one. right now. Absolutely. Hoping to make something happen here. This Matinkin versus Cronin. Almost full life, three bars a meter to four. Now Cronin can take it all back to Harvey. Right? <laughs> yeah, it was, we said, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the yeah. monster health. But there goes all of your meter at the flip side of it, right? Absolutely. That's a perfect. That's what you love to see. Burn that meter, close that gap. Um, but if Femo can get a couple clean hits in with, with that bar, um, they definitely have the advantage here. But yeah. This really King. is anyone's. Exactly. I know King can do a ton of damage with when she gets her meter up, especially if she's landing those slide kicks, but so far Femboy's just not able to convert off those slide kicks yet. Max meter. Ooh, EXDP. Isn't able to convert off. It's a hard move to convert off and you don't really get anything off, but... Good throw. Femboy's dialed in. <laughs> Throwing these fireballs. Yeah, they, don't, they don't need that bar. They're just... They're just... Pokey continue to do so. Exactly, right? <laughs> Apparently. It's just, I mean, it's a super solid game plan. It's worked out. Forcing Blue Sky Guy to be the aggressor, do dangerous things to get hit off of it. Four bars a meter, though. One conversion's going to be huge. Ooh. BSG with a lot of damage. That's that Cronin damage. Fireball, fireball. Again, both these characters going for these lows. Ooh, that big rocket that's going to do a lot of damage putting Finboy in a bad situation. But again, if Finboy's just patient throwing these fireballs, ooh, good jumping. Nice. Let's head out of it. This is coming down to the wire. BSGs want to get himself in the grand, into first place on grand finals. But let's see if Finboy can make something happen and push this to a game five. Crab break. Using this bar for EXs to apply that pressure, get that chip in. Oh. Ooh. Oh. EX, BSG taking it 3-1. That was so, that one came really, yeah, truly down to the wire. that was a good finals match of KOF. We get to see like two different play styles to a exactly. degree, just going at it, back and forth quite literally each oh, game, yeah. and oh, yeah. that was a fun game to watch. That was a nice game to watch, exactly. I mean, hey, BSG is going on into winners, or into grand finals. Um, Bimboy's dropping down to losers finals, maybe meeting Trojan.